Alright, yeah, let's go take down these shit, this fucker. Thanks for all of your loot, guys. Like, I love it. Kavar construction is a wreck. Uh, Mr. Kavar's really PO'd. Yeah, I don't, that's fine. Jimmy Kavar called. He's at the City Hall construction site and wants to see me. He knows. I don't know how, but he knows I've been helping you people. He's gonna kill me. Oh, I'm going to jail. Then he'll kill me. Oh, God. Go home to your wife, Lenny. Pack a bag. Get out of town for a couple days. When you get back, this will all be over. You'll talk to Jimmy? Sure. Kavar's waiting for you. I'm going to follow your advice. Get out of town. Yeah, go home to the wife that knows you cheated on her. Dumbass. It was supposed to be a no-show job. Shitty luck. Luck in my ass. That day was sabotage. <laughs> How the hell you think we're all down here busting our asses? You and me? We need to keep our heads on a swivel. The fucker that took out that crane will be back. Wait. Did he go? Y'all can stop looking when he's dead. Hmm? I'm empty. Now it's shit. Ain't coming back from that. The chief will be pissed. Dipshit got himself dead. Another way around. Oh, well, it's all yours, boys. Get 
He's gonna bury me. You hear? Bury me. Worried about the wrong man, Jimmy. There's Playboy right here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Um, Vito, because this is the middle. Send whoever you got downtown. We gotta secure it while we can. It's Hadler. I'm covering Durazio's little corruption racket. Can't imagine it's good for your health, naming names in the Marcano organization. Didn't you hear? Even cigarette smoke will kill you. So here's what I know. We've got city officials taking bribes. Blackmail. Juicy stuff. At the center of it all is a fellow named Frankie Bernard. The problem is, I don't know where he operates. Might make it kind of hard to find him. Ah, but the thing is, I hear Mr. Bernard uses dead drops. Spots where his people leave bribes for officials to pick up. And I just happen to know where they are. I also understand Frankie keeps a sweet blackmail stash of every dirty deal he's done. I'll see if I can't get one of those couriers to give up the location for your mystery man and his little blackmail stash. The people working for Bernard are just as secretive as he is. You might have to find some way to get them to talk. Thing. Like you said, it's all right, man. It's not dope. It's just a little money for some people. <laughs> Nobody ever did time for having a little extra money on them. We got a problem here. <laughs> You're gonna tell me what you know about Frankie Bernard. Mr. Bernard has some bag men making drops. All I know is the kind of car they're driving. My crew will be in touch. Oh man, I should have fucking put this money away.
before my win. No! No! Game! Fuck me! How's Frankie Bernard make his money? The boss is running things out of the Imperial Bath Health Spa. He's keeping the politicians in line with dirty pictures he's got stashed there. You can thank me later. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Let's go. Are you kidding me? Where's the where's the stairs? That's outside. Well make the best of things, yes. Fell under the curse of debutante pussy. What? <sighs> Whether Sal was putting it to her or he wasn't, Olivia was definitely fucking the old man. That's just how women like that do. Get ready for this. Complications due to surgery? Didn't even know Miss Marcano was sick. What you boys heard that, right? You've, uh, really got poor Frankie in a bit of hot water over at the bathhouse. Sorry, shitty pun. <laughs> because of you, Tony D'Arazio is having a hard time controlling the city's politicos. So he's ordered Frankie to keep an eye on the Imperial. It's a third strike, you're dead situation. How do you think you'll handle old Frankie? That's all up to him. Hey, I could tag along, my camera's in the car, and... You want to dig up more dirt for your rag, you do it on your own time. I ain't gonna drag your libelous ass all over town. I get it. I get it. Be seeing you. If you kill Bernard, be sure to let me know what happened, okay? For about a day. I'm on my way out of my home again. It'll be too soon. I thought Frank you had you all running you? money. If someone flowers, starts knocking, you shiny. don't belong. Oh, oh, oh. Ah,
Their cab must have took off. See if you can find that fuck. Okay, so they're all up above. Stop looking. Someone took this boy out. Used to be plenty more common folks in what they call Bristol Fields. When I was a boy, there was a whole other little town that sort of wrapped up the west side. Of course, some folks. I guess that's it. They could have sworn you was here. He ain't back down. Take him to shape. Show him dropping like fucking flies. Oh my god, that is... Downtown. Need some help securing it. You made the right move, giving me control of the district's rackets. But if I'm gonna run them, I expect to keep running them here on out. I'm of two minds when it comes to Lincoln's legacy. On the one hand, he was a, a brutal criminal who killed God knows how many people. A new breed of mobster, a prototype for criminals to come. If someone like that doesn't deserve the position history has afforded him. He should be forgotten, erased. But I also understand that Lincoln had a significant impact on the Italian mob in this city. He did what the Bureau wouldn't couldn't do. He finished them. 